What's going on everyone? Moose here again with Air Guns of Michigan and ha, huh, what an interesting turn of aha moments. <laughs> so, you know, this is a journey that we've been on with this uh, Impact M3 uh, shooting slugs and uh, you know, we started out with our standard barrel and then we added the heavy liner and um, as you guys could see from the previous video, uh, that heavy liner really wasn't performing very well with the 218 in the 30 grain range. And um, I went uh, up to um, high pressure pneumatics. Actually, I'm shooting this video the same day and uh, got myself a carbon fiber sleeve that fits. And... Um, I was talking with Tom and I was like, man, you know, it's just like, it just kind of fell apart. And um, he said, well, you know, the heavy liner really doesn't start to shine until you're in that 32 grain-ish weight. Um, it is heavy liner for a reason. And I was like, man, I would have thought that a 30 and a half would have been sufficient to put together decent groups. And um, <clears throat> I quickly found out that uh, no, throughout testing some, from some other guys uh, in the, um, or that visit the shop, really they don't start to shine until you're in that 34, 35 and higher. And uh, so I went ahead and I picked up some 35 grain Nielsen's and 218. I picked up some of the Javelin 34 grains in 217 and um, I, or 217 in both of those. And then um, I already had some 38 grain in 217. And lo and behold, wouldn't you know it, the 38 grains are really doing well out of this heavy liner. Remember when we talked about this and even with the tension barrel system, um, we talked about shooting heavy slugs. Heavy slugs being around that 40 grain, and yes, yes it does make a difference. Um, the 30, even the 35s and the 34s struggled um, with this heavy liner and the carbon fiber sleeve, uh, but once I went to the 38s, uh, we're starting to get better groups. So we're going to focus now going forward on these 38 grain Nielsen's uh, until I can get some stuff. I know Varmint Knockers is uh, uh, offered to send some of his heavy slugs. And um, yes, yes, it does absolutely make a difference. So we're learning together, right? This is what this is about. When do you add that heavy liner? I can tell you from personal experience shooting you know, um, the um, lighter than 35 grain, um, the standard liner does great with those. Uh, this heavy liner is not made for those lighter weight slugs. And we think lighter weight and we go, man, you know, look at what the hybrids are. Look at what the, uh, the most of the 22 caliber rounds are. But really, I'm telling you, it does make a difference. And, um, you know, so it's, when do we want to step up to that? When we're going to be shooting those 38 grains. So I now have my front reg at 210, um, yeah, maybe 215. And my rear reg is at 160. Um, my wheel is at eight. My macro is at 3.75. And my valve is turned out to about what you would think is the line six. Um, this is just roughing in, trying to get it to shoot groups, and it's coming together. You guys are going to see that. Hopefully, it doesn't make a liar out of me. Um, but the last group that I shot really kind of started coming together. Um, obviously, um, letting in my barrel and kind of getting it to where it uh, um, wants to be is important. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our recording. And uh, just let's make sure it's recording. It should be. It is. And uh, let's go ahead and put together three five-shot groups uh, down here at 100 yards. And um, I don't have it exactly zeroed in, 
But uh, point of aim, point of impact should be good. And let's see what we can get. And we are shooting right at around 980. It's making a liar out of me. There we go. It's getting better. Coming apart. I can tell you with the lighter slugs, it was way, way not good. All right, so let's. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my windage just a little bit, so that our next group is uh, a little more in tune. So there was five there. Might have been six. Let's see, there's one. I didn't even know where that one hit. That was a flyer. That's two. I don't even know where these things are hitting. That's not a good sign, is it? Oh, I see. They were hitting in between the targets. Let me move this windage over again. Let's, uh, I don't remember if I loaded one there. Yep, I did. Let's move our windage over again. Just to uh, see if we can't put them closer to the center there. There's one. There's two. There's three. Four. And we didn't load one. That doesn't feel like we loaded another one either. Oh, here we did. So, I have to admit, this is, like I said, still a learning curve. Um, I actually shot a really decent group on the other target. And uh, let me see if I can go over there and show you the one that I'm talking about and it's that group right there um, those that that group where my dot is on right now I actually was aiming at the tip here and that's the group um, these other ones uh, were actually part of a group that I was shooting off the tip of this triangle uh, or off this tip not this tip so I'm not really sure why I'm getting so much fluctuation, but once again, you know, this is, this is what we're learning together. So, you know, my standard deviation when I sh was shooting last was 2.5, um, you know, so, you know, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna back my valve in I'm sure I'm going to be slowing down, but just over four. And uh, I want to see if we get different results up here at this one. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's definitely a lot more wind down there than there was. So we're still getting intermittent flyers and um i think we need to well number one i'm i'm coming off reg for sure um not off my rear reg yet but i'm certainly off my front reg um let's pump this puppy back up and uh we're gonna try something different i'm gonna go back to the 
35 grain Nielsen's and see where we're at. So, you know, like I said, this is, this is testing, right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to try to brag and say, well, look, you know, I, I spent all this time tuning. I want to show you guys what I'm doing to, to make my groups um, better than, uh, than they were uh, previously. Um, so I want to, I'm going to switch back over to these other slugs. And, you know, one thing about um, choked barrels <laughs> is Nielsen's are a heavier um, or a, a, a more solid type of lead as opposed to Javelins and Zons are a softer lead. So, you know, are we going to have better results with the softer lead in a choked barrel? Possibly. Um, Tom didn't have any 216s in stock today. Um, so, you know, we may find that 216 is um, a better um, slug size for this, this choked barrel and doing what we're doing. So we did 218 in the last video. We're doing 217s in this video, and um, I will get a hold of some 216. Uh, we might need to even get a pellet sizer and um, really get these things dialed in, dialed in, dialed in. Um, I'll be excited to see when the Javelin um, 40 grains are available. Um, I haven't seen them yet available. I've seen people shooting them. Um, but I have not seen them available at my um, local um, store where I pick up my slugs from. So I just want to see if um, at these speeds, obviously it's going to be shooting a little bit faster, being that the, um, the slugs are uh, lighter. But uh, let's go ahead and just see what we can't put together with these 30, I think these are 35 grain. 35 grain 217s. Let's go ahead and put one down range. So there's there's five with the Nielsen, and I probably shouldn't have loaded this whole magazine because now I want to switch back over to the Javelins and uh, see what we can't get out of the Javelins. So let's grab these Javelin. These are 34 grain 217s, and um, you know where I'm set up with my um, stuff. Let's just see what kind of groups we're going to get here. Um, I'm gonna load the. I'm gonna load ten rounds. Three and four and five and six, seven, eight, nine and ten. And we're gonna bring those back around. And let's shoot two five-shot groups with the javelin. 34 grains. Uh, once again, this is a softer lead, so it, it should help um, with the um, choke in the barrel. And uh, let's go ahead and come over to this target here. And shoot five. And five. Not the results I was hoping for. Um, but once again, we're still in the midst of tuning. Um, you know, she might like to go a little bit slower. She might like to go a little bit faster. Um, you know, one thing we can do is turn our valve down a little bit, try to put her at, you know, just under three or just under four lines. 
Um, I should hook up my chronograph, see how fast we're flying, but I'm just curious. Once again, not the results that I was looking for. Um, the heavy liner with the uh, with the uh, carbon fiber. Not really sure what to say at this point, other than you know more tuning. But let me just for giggles, let me grab the Zon 30 and a half grains. And uh, once again, this is just testing, man. Listen, we're we're out here learning together. Let me put uh, let me put ten in here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's see what these do. I have a feeling these are going to be uh, not not good as they are going to be flying super fast. But uh, we'll go ahead and name at the top of this diamond over here. Yeah, not good. Yeah, nothing fell on. Fired on that one. I don't know if we're out. But nonetheless, not good, not good, not good. I mean, it's definitely a pattern, but not the pattern that we would expect. So at this point, I think we're going to go back to the drawing board. We're going to talk about um, the different... Um, Speeds, I think we're going to work on our speed a little bit with the um, with the 38 grains. Um, I'm going to put some more time into um, tuning the 38 grains and uh, see if we can't get those things to tighten back up. There's really no reason that this shouldn't be um, putting together good groups. Um, none at all that I can see, honestly. Um, I think that it's just, um, I think we're just at the mercy of now we need to find that speed that these things like. And uh, so far, I don't think we found that speed yet. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to go back to the tune and uh, we'll bring you guys more videos. Like I said, this is the summer of the impact. So by the end of this summer, we're going to have this thing shooting just absolutely outstanding. Uh, I'm going to do some research myself. I'm going to reach out to some friends that uh, are into slugging. And uh, I'm going to see exactly uh, what we need to do to get this thing uh, shooting where it needs to be. So, till next time, I'm Moose. This is Eric Guns of Michigan. I appreciate you guys sticking it out. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you would. Don't be a Karen. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll talk to you guys all soon. Take care.